action. Hey guys, so it's from Retail. We're in an airport and Easy is with us. This is the first time we've ever brought her to an airport. She loves it, absolutely loves it. And we are here for a very, very last minute trip. But unfortunately, I'm gonna be leaving you guys for because I'm about to get on a plane for South, um, South Africa. I was gonna say South America, for South Not Africa. Quite, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more when we land. But right now, I have to say goodbye. So I don't wanna say goodbye. It's the first time Claire's ever gone on a I big know. trip without me. We never travel apart. And I'm gonna be missing a little bean so, so much as well. And yeah, this is just the kind of sad part before I get on a plane. Speak to you guys, we're in South Africa. So I'll tell you why we're there because it's a very, very cool reason. But right now, I have to say bye to my favorite people in the world. Yeah, I wish you good luck in the, in the comments. Oh, okay. thank you. So, guys, I'll see you on the other side for now. I'm going to say bye to these lovely ones. Baba, don't get upset. Don't get upset. Hey guys, so look, can you see out the window? It's sunny, so straight away you know it's not the UK. That out there is South Africa. So I finally landed. It was so, so hard leaving the babies at the airport, but I try not to think about it because if I think, like Ali and I don't do well being apart, and if I think about it too much, I'll feel sick. So I'm just not gonna think about it, guys. I'm just gonna put it out of our minds for a second. So we're here in South Africa. I can see the sea out there. It looks absolutely amazing. And I suppose I should tell you guys why I'm here. So this is actually a super, super last minute trip. And if you guys didn't know one already, they're filming some of the new Tomb Raider, the new Lara Croft film, out here in South Africa. So Warner Brothers got in touch and asked if I wanted to go out and kind of see the Tomb Raider set. If you guys have been watching my channel, a long time. You'll know I did a playthrough on the last Tomb Raider game, which was Rise of the Tomb Raider. And that game was absolutely awesome. And I think what I really liked, because I grew up with Lara Croft, actually the first time I ever kind of saw Lara Croft in any form, it was like a weekend TV show. And I remember them interviewing the devs as they were making the game. And this is when Lara Croft was like, like seven pixels. So that's like a super long time ago. And like Tomb Raider 2, I played loads of. But what I really liked about Rise of the Tomb Raider is it was this like new, grittier, more real, more kind of human, I guess, sort of Lara Croft. And I think that the new film is taking inspiration from this new Lara Croft So she's a, a younger Lara Croft and more vulnerable I guess but still badass Lara Croft And she's just taking all that cool grittiness from the games into the new film So when they asked if I wanted to go out here and actually go on the set and watch part of the film being filmed And also apparently I'm gonna get a Tomb Raider makeover So I will become Lara Croft which is just the coolest thing ever Like who doesn't want to become Lara Croft And I'm so lucky to be able to come out here and do all that cool stuff and vlog it for you guys so I'm gonna be kind of capturing my whole weekend while I'm here in Cape Town in South Africa I'm gonna be trying to capture stuff from the, the set as well when we're out at the film location and of course if I get this Tomb Raider transformation I'm gonna be showing that to you guys as well but this is the first day I'm here like I literally only landed a few hours ago kind of have come straight to the hotel I just freshened up a bit because it was an overnight fly and when I get on a plane I like I take all my makeup off and just go straight to sleep which is exactly what I did so I'm all fresh I'm ready to go out and explore some of Cape Town there's a few other youtubers here as well there's one from from Chile and one from Italy. They're both really nice girls. One of them does drawing and one of them does, does singing. So it's quite different to what I do. But we're all gonna go out and head and explore Cape Town now. And you guys are coming with me. So let's go and see some Cape Town. So this like cool little bit here and the marina is right outside our hotel. I don't know if you can see, I can't see what you can see. Will you go a bit higher? There's a mountain like just over there. Let me show you. So this one right here is Table Mountain. And me and the two girls are just about to go up there and get a taxi. Apparently you can see like the whole of Cape Town from there. It looks really, really cool. So we're gonna get a cab, head up there, probably get some lunch there as well. And then maybe head into the town center. But guys, it's really, really sunny and I haven't got sun cream on. I've got sun cream on my face. As I said, factor 50 all the time on my face. But I have nothing on my arms and legs. So I'm gonna need to buy some or else I'm gonna burn really quickly. There's also a really nice and Infinity pool here. However, I'm not really sure about the company that you have to share it with guys I don't know if I want to go and swim with them So I've got my hat on to stop my scalp burning because my scalp always burns the view is already like absolutely insane. And we're getting a cable car all the way up there. So the views are gonna be even more insane up there. I can't wait, but we have to go and get a ticket first, guys.
guys, this is the top of Table Mountain. The cable car, I don't know if you could tell, you could probably tell when the other one went by, but it was actually really, really fast. We're like 1,008 meters in the air, I think, right now. And we got here in like less than three minutes. So it was super, super speedy, but it is just insanely beautiful. Like, look behind me. You can see like all of Cape Town. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the clouds from here. That is literally how high we are. And apparently these bushes, our, our guy that's taxiing us around is also a tall guy. He said there's more variations of plants on this rock than around the whole of the UK. So guys, we've taken some really cool pictures here. It's honestly such an amazing place and it's so quiet. And there's these kind of like, they look like big hamsters called Darcy's and they have like no fear. When I was filming them down there, apparently there was one of my shoe and I didn't even realize. So they're super, super cute, but guys, it's happening. I'm starting to turn pink. So I think we're gonna have to head back down again. We've had some lunch here, but I'm definitely burning. Like even with a big hat on, it's the Irish skin guys. I didn't stand a chance. So we're gonna head back to the hotel. Maybe we'll get to go to Cape Town a little bit, but we've got a meeting tonight to find out exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be some cool stuff. I'm nervous and I'm excited. I've no idea where the set is. I don't know if it's like kind of jungly or I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it sounds like it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna head down from here now because the thing is it's cooler here, but it's actually like more sun rays. So Irish skin, just no. <laughs> So we took a little detour to how pretty is this little beach here? And the best bit is you're on the beach, but then that is your backdrop. It's just the mountains that we were actually on earlier today. How ridiculously insane is that? Found out a little bit more about um, the Tomb Raider stuff. So apparently they've been filming here since January. So all the actors and stuff will have been here, like chilling, well, not chilling out. They'll have been acting, obviously, but they'll have been in Cape Town since January, which is pretty cool. Like it would be really cool being an actress, but oh my gosh, I could not stay away from Molly for like four months. Just no, I could definitely could not do that. I already really, really miss him. Apparently the sea here is really, really cold though because it's like the Pacific Ocean. Oh no, the Atlantic Ocean. One of them is one of the oceans. So we're gonna go dip our toes in and find out just how cold it is. Atlantic. Guys, it's the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Okay guys, test complete. The sea is definitely cold. The sea is definitely really, really cold. <laughs> Morning guys, 7.30 a.m. I'm so, so tired, but we're heading downstairs now. I'm actually a little bit late, <laughs> but I'm super tired of my friends. I just dropped my cardigan. We're heading downstairs now to meet the rest of the group and to meet all the production crew, and then we're gonna head to the Tomb Raider set, so I'm so, so excited. I have no idea what to expect. I know that there's two sets, and I know that one of them is on a ship that they're actually filming with in the film, which is just the coolest thing ever, and it would be really cool just to see kind of how they film the film, because I have no idea Idea. I've never been on a film set before. Absolutely no idea what to expect, but I'm really, really excited to see what's gonna be there. I did manage to buy some sun cream because yesterday I burned through my top. So I was wearing a black top, and then when I got in, my chest was pink. So it's okay, it's calmed down again today, but I definitely just, I put sun cream on basically, and I brought sun cream with me. And hopefully I'm not gonna get burned today, but everyone's waiting for me. <laughs> Typically, I'm really slow, so we're gonna head out there now. I don't know if I can bring my camera on set, so if I can't, they're filming stuff for us, so you're definitely gonna see everything. So guys, let's head out to the movie set. So guys, this is Alicia Vakanda, who is actually Lara Croft. This is her trailer, so this is where she hangs out all the time. She's actually got a gym attached on the side. The producers were saying that, like, literally her physical condition is insane. And she's, like, one of the fittest actresses they've ever worked with. She can do loads of stunts, she's super strong. Like, she's kick-ass. Like, I love her for that, because that's exactly how Lara Croft should be. So she'll be, like, hanging out here in between sets. I think she's been on set, like, every day working for, like, so, so long now. It's such an intense job. So she needs a little place to go and hang out in. What's your name? Laura. Surname? Croft. 
So guys, we're on the set now, and this is basically Richard Croft's office. If you remember in Rise of the Tomb Raider, we, we had a lot of scenes in this office, with Lara going back, remembering stuff that happened, remembering bits of her childhood, and trying to figure out what has happened to her father. And I think there's gonna be a similar sort of vein in the film. So on this desk is just so, so much cool stuff. Like pictures of Lara as a kid, picture of Lara and her mother and her father, and just loads of stuff that's gonna relate back to the film. And behind is like, like Richard's sort of storyboard of the things he's trying to figure out. And it's just basically so, so cool. As a Lara Croft fan, I am geeking out so hard right now. And we've got a whole other set to go and discover as well. And check this out. I'm just chilling out in his chair. I'm basically like an explorer now, guys. So guys, I've snuck up here like in the rafters to show you like, cause the set's on two levels. This is actually his office here as well. You've got like his little desk up there. You can see some guys working right up there on the lighting now. Like this set is still being built. They've not even filmed here yet. So like we've been here like before some of the actresses, which is pretty cool. You can see everybody else down there that's everybody else that we're on the tour with and I'll show you how cool it looks from up here because you get a really good view so this thing is like there's so much attention to detail like that board especially I remember in the Tomb Raider games like there was a lot of info in this board that like Lara pieced together and the books and stuff like if you're a Tomb Raider fan this place is so cool that bit over there when you go at the top actually links to a separate set back there the way they've done everything is so so clever so we managed to chat to um, the producer and we've had a little chat with the guys in charge of all the art direction really really cool and one of the things that they said was their best achievement for this whole film was actually a replica they've made of a Hong Kong harbour which just is insane they're gonna go and show us that in a minute so I'll show you guys that as well but they basically built a boat and a harbour and the boat rocks and it's just crazy guys it's literally just crazy so let's go check that out now Guys, literally we are on the set now. This is the ship that I was talking about previously. It's called the Endurance and they literally built it just for this film and it rocks. It literally rocks on its own. We were just watching Alyssi, who is Lara Croft. She was filming on there and it looked absolutely amazing. And I can't like begin to tell you how huge this thing is. And look, I feel like a director, guys. I feel like I'm literally directing my video now. So guys, we are on the Endurance now. Like there's some little rickety stairs there. I feel kind of like scared on here because it's really warm with all the lighting. This is literally the ship that if you watch the film, she's going to be on here doing loads of cool stuff. And actually all the crew is still all here, like chilling out in between sets. How awesome is that? And this ship just looks absolutely amazing. She was tying some knots and stuff like literally right here. Like literally half an hour ago, we were watching her do that. I feel very Lara Croft right now. And we are just having a ton of fun. Ladies first. Open the tube! Eight, nine when the first game came out yeah. and it was one of those it was my my dad's friend son had the game and I remember suddenly it was a kick-ass badass girl and I really wanted to play the game and he let me but I kind of freaked out I got quite scared I remember the big bear and all that and I just wanted it stopped playing and I, I must have spent the time in the training in the beginning of that. But um, I really enjoyed the new games too. I've been playing them offset to the end. We've heard that you get up super early and do like a super intense workout. Is it like weight stuff or strength training? Mostly yeah. strength training. Uh, I, I did a lot of cardio myself before and that was one of the first things that Magnus said. He's like, no more running. I must have been high into the which I really like. Has it helped with the film? Like you've got a lot of stunts you've got to do. Well, I'm, I've never been this strong. Yeah. Uh, and it's been, you know, amazing, I think, to kind of know what goes into changing your yeah. physique in that way. I eat these meals that come five times a day. Oh, it's my 10 of 30 oh, snack. Oh, it looks pretty yummy. Yeah. No, it's good. It's very clean. <laughs> it's but it's quite a lot of food. But it's, it's not yeah. donuts. Five well. times a day, you say? Yep. So guys, we're actually heading to another studio now. This is where they do all the stunts and we're gonna get to try and do a stunt. So you're probably gonna see me fail very, very soon. We actually got to meet Alicia, who's Lara Croft in the new film. She seems super nice and she actually gets up every morning at 5 a.m. 
to do like all these strength workouts like it's actually insane how much work she's put into it and she looks amazing like she she makes me want to go back to the gym she looks that good and she's on like a crazy eating scheme and they told us uh, they showed us all the makeup that she gets applied to her and what is so cool is that she has the cut on her nose the cut across here and like the dust and mud all over her skin that she has in the video games so they really played homage to that she's got the little bandages on her everywhere and she looks just like the rise of the tomb raider and the the, the first reboot as well she literally looks amazing so i'm really excited to see how it looks in film because when you play the games you kind of get the cutscenes, and it sort of looks like a movie anyway so it'll be really cool to see how that transitions onto a film what won't be really cool is me trying to do this stunt so you're gonna see that very soon and that will be very non-tomb raidery but i'll give it my best shot for you guys Hi guys, welcome. My name is Gon Paul, I'm the fight coordinator on the show. So my job is to ensure that Alicia and all the, all the actors look the part for their fight scenes. She's gonna move only once this first pass the seat of her face. Bam! And she's gonna do that, okay? So you're all gonna have to go at that. We just did some of the stunt stuff on the mats over there. There was a lot of like pretending to punch and pretending to get hit, which I actually wasn't that great at because I've never punched anyone and I've never been hit. So I was pretty stiff. But then we did the boxing afterwards. We had to like punch the pads. You can tell how out of breath I am. Like literally that was so much fun. I'm really, really hot and sweaty now, but I really want Ali and I to start doing boxing because that was the most fun ever. I definitely feel like I'm trained. I feel like I could be Lara Croft now. Like I know how to throw a punch now. I don't know how to throw like a roundhouse kick. Guys, it was so, so much fun. And you never know, maybe one day he'll be a stunt, a stunt woman. guys we're back in the hotel now we had such a cool day on set today and we're actually there tomorrow as well like i am aching from that boxing but as i said we're definitely gonna do that when we get back to the uk i've already told ali all about it and he's like yes he wanted to do boxing i was like no i thought he was gonna get his face all bashed up but it's just punching pads so it's fine we're gonna do that when we get back to the uk maybe vlog some of that for you guys and tomorrow we're actually heading back to set i don't know what we've got planned for tomorrow but hopefully it's gonna be really cool but tonight we're actually heading to a place i think it's called green light or green something i can't remember should be a really cool restaurant so i'm gonna take you guys along for the ride so guys i've been told it's green point not green light so if you're from south africa you probably had such a good laugh there they all laughed at me so it's green point green light is something completely different <laughs> like African style food. Look at this. I've got a little flower on my face. How cool is that? But everyone's so tired because we had such an early start this morning and we've got another one tomorrow morning because we're going to go back on set. So that's it for tonight. But tomorrow we're going to be doing some really, really cool stuff. Make sure you stick around to see us go back on set. I'm not quite sure what we'll be doing yet, but it's going to be cool and it's going to be Tomb Raider related. So make sure you stick around and find out what we're doing tomorrow. So guys, this is the wardrobe for the film. There is literally so many pieces of clothes here. We spoke to the uh, the lady that dresses everybody for the set. Um, for Lara Croft, there are like 47 pairs of pants. They start off all nice and clean like this, and then she slowly gets like more and more beat up. It's literally just like the games in that regard. And then by the end of it, look, she, she's kind of had a hole taken out of her here. Her pants are totally messed up, and everything is kind of covered in blood and dust. They said as well that they have 100, 100 of these little t-shirts. They cut them out of 200 t-shirts. So there's literally so many items of clothing, and after each scene, when they, when they use these, they wash them completely and then they re-add like all the blood and all the dirt again so it's an insane job to try and keep people dressed and just make sure that every time she goes on set everything's looking really really good and the hole here i swear that happened in one of the tomb raider games too like if you ever accidentally do something wrong in the game she gets brutally murdered like really brutally murdered and it just shows in this and also one thing
one thing to know, Alicia is absolutely miniature. I wouldn't be able to get these trousers like up my thigh. She is so tiny and so, so strong. And the clothes are really, really cool. And after this, they're gonna have all these items of clothing and I guess they'll just put them on display and stuff. I have some cargo pants like this. I'm pretty sure I could get a vest like that. I wanna dress as her after seeing this because literally the outfits look so cool. So guys, don't tell anyone, but I've snuck into one of the tents on set. This is like the villain's tent. He's called Vogel. And this is where he like sits and does all of these like little devious plans. And can I just say, this tent stinks like it has literally been in the Amazon for ages. Like it's definitely the real deal. But check out these little cheeky plans. So look, little maps, little plans. Look at this. He's even got his little biscuits and everything. So I do think that's the last little piece of the set that I can show you guys. The endurance boat is out there, but we already saw that yesterday. And there's not really enough stuff to show you because they tear all this down and then they set it all back up again for when they change the shots and stuff. So they, the boat, they're gonna crash, smash up, and then refilm one, but we'll be gone by then. So I thought I would at least show you this tent. Pretty cool. So you guys know what I'm like at puzzles in games. I literally sat playing Rise of the Tomb Raider for hours trying to figure out some of the puzzles. And this is a real life prop from the new film. And I think what Lara is basically gonna do, I don't wanna ruin things, but she's gonna figure out a way to link all these together and then it will reveal something. But I don't wanna say too much, but this is what we call a hero prop, which means that this will be used for close up. Like it's like, it's legit, it's the real deal. And eventually these are all gonna lock together and it's gonna do something very cool. But they'll actually like use this in the film. It's kind of heavy. If they actually gave this to me and I had to figure out what to do, then the film would never progress. And we'd kind of just stay in the opening scenes because I suck at puzzles, but this is very cool. So guys, I've literally got the coolest prop of all. First of all, check out my quiver of arrows. And the, the belt that I put on the quiver, he actually said I had the same waist as Lara Croft, which is pretty badass. And then check this out. Guys, how freaking awesome is that? I feel so Lara Croft right now. And can I just say, it's really hard to keep a bow pulled back. So I don't know how much longer I can keep my hands like this, but I feel so much like Lara Croft right now. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you guys is the ice picks. So you will recognize these for sure from the games. They're actually exact replicas of the ones that Square Enix used in the game. Literally down to the brand. This one is really heavy. This is the real deal. Like if you hit someone with this, they're going down and they are staying down. And you'll remember using these and Rise of Tomb Raider as we had the ice at the beginning of the game. This one, however, is an exact replica of the real one. But if you see the end, like it's soft so they can use this on set and they can hit people with it and they're not going to do any damage and it's also so much lighter so a really cool replica from the game and kind of the dangerous and the like Claire safe version as well As you can probably see, I am back home now in the UK and I've been waiting to show you that vlog for so long. It was so much fun being in South Africa, being on set, meeting the actors, meeting like all the people that worked. The crew for that kind of film and production is absolutely huge. And I had a ton of fun. And literally this week, I went to the Tomb Raider premiere. I tweeted you guys for help on my outfit and you guys helped me out. So thank you very much for that. Because I ended up wearing a red dress that Ali actually got me in the Boyfriend Buys My Outfit video. So that was pretty cool. And I can say that the movie 
is absolutely awesome. If you play the games, I mentioned this in the vlog that I thought they were throwing in loads of gaming references. And I was right because it's literally riddled with them. The stuff that happens in the game, well, it's very, very much similar to the first game in terms of storyline, but there's a lot of kind of things that if you've played the games, you'll be like, ah, that's like, that, that's from the games, that's really cool. So there's a lot of nod to the original series, which I like, well, not the original series, reimagined series of Tomb Raider, which I really, really like. And the movie was just a lot of fun. It goes by really quickly. I don't know. I think it's a really, really good setup for a whole new, like, Lara Croft film series. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And it's been something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for so, so long. Please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. If you want me to do more vlog stuff, let me know in the comments below as well. If you guys go and see the film, which I 100% recommend that you should do, go as a group. Like, it's a it's a really fun film to go and watch. You, you kind of go out the cinema feeling like you absorb some of Lara Croft's badassness. So if you guys go watch it, please let me know what you think about it either in the comments of this video or head to Twitter and tweet me if you go and watch it and let me know what you think and I'll try and look out for your tweets. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a little cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.